guys, I'm trying to show you this dog, but it's kind of hard to see and awkward because there's a person in the back also. But I just finished with practice and now I am heading home. It is very early. Well, it's not early now, but it was very early when I woke up this morning. It was very early when I got to work and I'm happy to be leaving now. Um, I think they kind of wanted me to stay longer, but my legs and feet are so swollen this morning. Like as soon as I put on my shoes, it was just like squeezing my feet to death. And I was like, I gotta go home and put my feet up. So I'm headed home now. I'm gonna eat my second breakfast of the day when I get in and then probably lay down and put my feet up and take a nap. So we shall see what the day brings. I know Chris is off work today. I know my mom wanted to work out. Um, I'm gonna do, oh, so we got this um, like sheet of like, I forget what it's called, like a cycle sort of, of like these stretches or exercises that I do for like 30 minutes each. It's like a 90 minute series. Um, that's supposed to help adjust the baby and like get it in the right position. So I'm going to do that today also. So we shall try and get this kid on the move. Just got home from moving the car. See if Casey get out of bed because she had to get up really early this morning. She had practice at like 5 a.m. So we'll see. What up, wife? Nothing. Doing the polar bear? Yeah. Is this coming yet? No. Is it starting to bug you? No, but staying here for 30 minutes is a long time. <laughs> yes, Chris. Big butt. This is the polar bear position that our midwives told us to do to help, uh, is it to align the hips to get the baby to go in the channel? No, it's to get the kid to drop out of my pelvis. To drop out of it? Yes. I thought we wanted it to drop into it. Well, it has to reposition itself, so it has to come out. All right. Then hopefully when it drops back in, after when you stand up, it'll be in the right position to go into labor? Yeah. All right. Well, then I have to do all the other stuff, yeah. and then hopefully the other stuff puts it in the right position. So this is the thing that they give us to do. It's called the Miles Focus, the Miles Circuit. First off, she's got to do polar bear, side stuff, which is basically how she sleeps. Then she's got to get up and get active by doing side steps on a bench, which she says hurts her vagina. And then she's got to do sideward steps up um, the stairs, which she said is like doing single leg squats. And when she's an extra 60 pounds, that's difficult for her to do. Yeah, it was really hard. So this whole thing is going to take 90 minutes, and then hopefully after that, maybe the baby will decide to come. Or not. Do you, think it, do you actually think it's going to work? I think I'm going to have to do it a few times, but I would just, like, I'm just trying to get into the right position. Yeah. So, these vlogs have been very... Me, me, me. Phase two of the going to labor cycle. Basically looks like a nap. It's not a nap. <laughs> this is the position you sleep in. I bet you fall asleep. And mine, I'm about to play my games. Alright, see you in 30 minutes then.
Christine put bread on the balcony so the birds would come, and it worked. I know. Look how pretty. I've never seen that bird before. Ah! Here's you, man. Now I just need to put a little bit of water out there. We you don't can... leave the bird habitat. We're heading to you village to get some cupcakes. Is that right? No. We're eating pizza. And cupcakes, I bet. So we came to Delfino's again. We ordered a medium this time because those three of us. We got destroyed by it. There's two pieces left. It's blurry though. If anybody lives in Washington or Seattle. Definitely come to Delfino's down at the U Village. It's the uh, best pizza we ever had. Huh? Sausage, pepperoni, ton of cheese. We're in Molly Moons, get some ice cream. I think it's a first experience. Let's see what Christine thinks of it. All right, so <laughs> what happened was everybody remembers the last time that we were here and I got a milkshake. Well, <laughs> at the business, don't forget to leave the business because we destroyed it last time. Yes. So last time I was here, I got a milkshake. It was really watery. Not this one though. No. <laughs> so I told them it wasn't very busy, so I said, um, hey, so last time I was here, I got a milkshake and it was really watery. And he was like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And so he made me this milkshake. It's not watery at all. It's perfect. And then he was like, they were ringing us up. And then he was like, oh, so you got a milkshake and a scoop. And then he was like, don't charge them for the milkshake. So then we got it for free because our last time was a bad time. Free milkshake. That was really nice. Good job, Molly Moons. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Now do the taste test. No, I already did. It's amazing. It's really thick. It's like. <laughs> I think maybe they just saw a giant pregnant lady come in, angry about her previous product, and they're like, "Oh, good." No, I wasn't angry. I was nice. So we got the two ladies happy with their ice cream and milkshakes. I'm a happy girl. It's about time. The only thing that's missing out of this ice cream is. <laughs> This is the view that I never get of Seattle and I'm getting it right now. I've tried for nine months so far and I've got it. This probably is the second best view of Seattle. Do you think? Alki Beach. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I just woke up from my second nap of the day. I think 5 a.m. kicked my butt today. Luckily I don't have to wake up that time tomorrow. So, I am done. I'm probably going to eat a cupcake because I didn't get a cupcake when we went to U Village. Um, and I need to drink some water and then edit the vlog. And then... That's all for today. We'll do it in the comment. If you like this vlog, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see tomorrow, yes, there's still no kid. Surprise, surprise. So maybe tomorrow. I know that's every day, but really. Um, we have a baby appointment tomorrow morning, so you'll see us go do that. Um, so yeah. Um, batteries can die. So if you like it and you want to see us maybe have a baby in the next couple days, press subscribe and we will see you tomorrow. Ciao.